Hello everyone, welcome to my channel. Today I'm going to go over a tutorial on my preventive maintenance database. We're going to focus specifically on reactive maintenance or walk orders. So if you want to put in a walk order, you can use this by going to uh, the reactive maintenance. If you go into reactive maintenance, there's already two walk orders that should be reconciled. You can rec either reconcile the walk order by going here and you can see that there are two walk orders that needs to be reconciled. Basically to reconcile it, you just, after you're done with the work orders, just click complete and it falls off this uh, work order list. So let's go ahead and do that. Let's click this. When you check this box and then you save and close, and then you close this form to refresh the page. And when you come back to the page, you notice that one of it have dropped off. So if you want to schedule a work order, you can go in and cool, go in and create one work order here. So make sure when you put the shift, after you put the shift, you put in the time that it was reported. And you can go ahead and change the time if you want. And then you put the date that it's, it was reported and put name, the equipment. The equipment automatically populates the production areas. You give a description you put the lead name, the lead or the supervisor's name that reported the issue, and then you put the parts, and then it calculates the cost. Uh, here's where you put in the technician's name if it's optional, and after the technician is done, they can put in the hours that it, it took to repair it, and then they put in repair notes, and if there are additional parts that's not already listed, they can add that part here. Because of it, because the work order, it's not usually consistent with a particular issue. So there might be parts that are used and not used again. That's why I have parts that are already added in the system and brand new parts that are not usually used all the time. So if there's a vendor involved, you can add the vendor's name and the service tech name as well. So that's how you schedule, you create a work order or a uh, reactive maintenance. So when you close this right here, notice that this is just one, but when you close the form and come back, it changed to two. So you've already, you've created a, a work order or a reactive maintenance. So if you want to get more information on how to purchase the database, the link is down below. If you have any questions, just send me an email. Thank you.